Hello from Tarnov, Poland. <laughs> we have just arrived and wow, you can tell already this is a medieval city. Oh yeah, just it's look from, around. It's from the 14th century and I cannot wait to explore more of this beautiful looking town. We've arrived at our first stop in Tarnów, which is the old city hall, old town hall. In Polish, it's the Ratusz. And this is a 16th century building. The original one, unfortunately, actually burned down. It was made of wood. And there's kind of a legend here that there were two guards who were to guard against fire, and somehow they were killed, murdered. And so they weren't able to stop the fire from the original town hall. And the legend goes that they still haunt this place. So hopefully, we won't run into them. <laughs> and this was almost demolished by the Nazis during World War II. They wanted to tear this beautifully historic building down, but the townspeople told them that a really famous German architect had designed it, which saved it. So it was a very smart plan in the end. So we have them to thank for this building now. So a lot of interesting things in here and a perfect place to start to get a sense of the local history here in Tarnów. This is the mechanism for controlling the clock, which is just through that window there. And it's one of the oldest in Poland and this still works, still controls the clock. So cool. Climbed up to the top of the old town hall here. There's a tower with a little walkway where you can get a 360 degree view. 360 all the way from the top. Is, yeah, what an incredible panorama. Look at this. And it's especially nice since we've just arrived to get to look around and get a sense of what's around us. in a church museum that keeps safe a whole bunch of altars and different pieces of art that were from a lot of churches here in Tarnów, some of which still exist and some of which don't. And the dates on these pieces are amazing, like 15th century, 14th century. Some of these pieces would have been made around the time that Tarnów actually became a city. <laughs> in the early 1300s. It's just amazing to be able to see these things up close and try to imagine who was making them and what life was like here at that time. I've never seen this before. I don't know what's happening here. You can really see the age and how important it is to preserve these things like this one, for example. You wonder what's been lost and it just makes you appreciate how much <laughs> the majority you can still see. Outside the basilica and there's this extremely tall, I don't know if you can tell, monument to of course John Paul II, a Polish Pope, and he visited the city of Tarnów and I wanted to show you this because it's the first monument to him in all of Poland and there's about 1500 monuments of various kinds to him throughout Poland, he's very beloved here, but this, this was the first one. Thank you. 
just walked down from the church there and you can see there's the Jewish Heritage Center. And this is unfortunately all that remains from the old synagogue that was here. Oh wow, beautiful birds. And actually, <laughs> the birds are exactly what I want to show you because behind the remains of this old synagogue, there's this beautiful mural that was painted by the children of Tarnuv. And it has special significance because if you look closely, you'll see that all of the birds are kind of different shapes and sizes and colors. But the idea of the mural is that they're all flying together. It's important. What are we doing now? We're doing my favorite thing, which is eating Polish dinner. <laughs> it's dinner time. It's Polish dinner time. <laughs> We can't eat in a Polish restaurant, obviously, without having pierogi. So we got four different kinds to try. We have um, pierogi ruskia, Russian, which is with um, basically cheese, potato, and onion. And then we got some with groats and mushroom, spinach, and then uh, they called them farmer style, which is with sausage. And I have never had that kind before. Okay, I'm gonna try. Spinach ones. Mmm, that looks so good. Ooh, look in there. Mmm. I just love the color. I dream of like a rainbow of pierogi. We seem to be incapable of going to a Polish restaurant and not eating everything in <laughs> sight or at least trying to. Yeah, that so was, true. That was wonderful. We really had a feast. <laughs> I, I think I lost count of the plates after a while. Yeah, I think I did too. Maybe yeah. you guys did too. <laughs> anyway, it was wonderful, as usual. <laughs> We're walking down the street and we came across this memorial that I wanted to share with you guys because it's really, really important. Um, this is to the people who were first transported to Auschwitz, the Nazi concentration camp. And the first people to ever arrive to Auschwitz were people sent from Tarnuv. There were 728 people and in this uh, phone booth you find all of their names and beside each name you see a number. And if you pick up this phone and you dial the number, you can hear something about that individual. And these people were very influential in the community here. They were intellectuals, they were the economic elite, they were community leaders. They were people who could have organized some sort of uprising against the Germans, which is exactly what they didn't want. come across another memorial to those first victims sent to Auschwitz. And here you can see the date that they were sent, which was the 14th of June, 1940. This was formerly the Jewish bathhouse, the mikveh, and this is actually where they held those prisoners, 728 prisoners, um, before they were sent to Auschwitz, and now, as you can see, it's a Jewish restaurant. We're here in the Jewish cemetery in Tarnuv now, and before World War II, the population in this city was about half Jewish. Now there are about 30 Jewish people living in Tarnuv. So this is a very important place, obviously for many reasons. It's a very old cemetery as well. And I wanted to show you these gates because they're really significant. These are a copy of the original gates for the cemetery that were from the 1820s. And those gates are actually in the United States, in Washington, in the Holocaust Museum. Um, they were sent there with a note saying that many people, many Jews, had walked through those gates to their death. And the reason for that is, this is of course a cemetery, but it was also a place of execution. And during World War II, there were thousands of Jews from Tarnuv and from the surrounding area who were brought here to the cemetery 
walked through those gates, through the original gates, and they were executed. And there's a place now in the cemetery where they have a mass grave and a memorial, which is this column right at the end here by a Jewish artist. They've done some archaeological digs here now and they found bullets and people's personal effects and just further evidence of all of the people who were murdered here. And so um, a Jewish artist who's actually from Tarnuv created this memorial for the mass grave of all of the people who were executed here. There is so much history here in Tarnuv, including what I'm standing in front of, this red tram car. This goes back to the days starting in 1911 when they had a tram service here. They called these tram cars ladybirds, which I think is nice. And they had the service until 1942 when the Germans dismantled all of the tracks in the streets and they sent the track materials and all of the tram cars to the Ukraine. Years later, uh, they got a tram car from that era, so it's a real um, antique. <laughs> brought it back from the Ukraine and put it here where the tram used to go here in Tarnuv and they've renovated it and now it's a cafe. So we are going to get on board. the tram car now and I love how they preserved a lot of the historical touches. There's a lot of wood details and nice pink flowers on the tables and I love thinking about the fact that this is a real tram car that was really used here in Tarnuv and it's made this long journey from here to Ukraine and back and we've ordered ourselves a couple of lattes so we're going to just sit here and reflect on what a lovely day it's been in Tarnuv. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along and if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a like and subscribe for lots more travel adventures and I will say goodnight, cheers, and see you in our next video. Bye! <laughs>